What's today, baby? Bible. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, come on. It's time. <laughs> You're gonna have so much fun. Right. What's wrong? What it is, what it do, our dysfunctional family is coming through with another video for you. Yay, yay. Hey, you guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay, and I hope you are having an amazing day. Back at the house now, just dropped off Kehlani, as you can see. She had a little bit of a hard time getting dropped off at Vacation Bible School, which I'm surprised because she asked me to sign her up, and she was looking forward to it the whole week, and she kept asking, when is Bible School? When is Bible School? So I thought she was going to be so pumped once we got there to meet new friends and all that stuff. But um, she was a little nervous and um, there ended up being a couple of the teachers were super sweet. And one of them had a daughter that was going to be in Kehlani's class. So it worked out. But anyways, I am going to get the day started, get started on some breakfast and then get started on the day. Let's go. Also, don't forget to watch to the end of the video, you guys, because we do shout outs at the end and you don't want to miss out. So remember to get a shout out. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, turn on the little post notification bell and comment on the latest video. Comment on this video if you want a shout out on the next video. Let's go. I like that these Aldi bagels come pre-sliced. So y'all, all you have to do is pull it apart and that's it. That's such a convenience. Can't remember where I bought bagels from and they weren't cut, like they weren't pre-sliced. It made it a little harder. I mean, it's not a big deal. It just makes it a little more convenient. And I got the whipped one because it's easier to spread. But it is like 50 cents more expensive than the regular block. All right, you guys, come get your breakfast. Thank you. Yo. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's see. All right, you guys, so it's time. So I'm off to pick up Kehlani from her vacation Bible school, little camp thing. And all the kids are playing outside. And I see her just standing there by herself. So I'm just like, I hope this wasn't her whole time. And I see her just standing there by herself outside of the circle where everybody's playing. And I'm kind of sad because now I'm wondering, did she spend like the entire time being alone like that? I always try to push the kids, but not force them to do something that they don't want to do. And she didn't really want to stay, even though she had been looking forward to it this whole week. And now I feel bad because I hope she at least enjoyed herself. We'll see. It's almost time to pick her up, have another like 15, 20 minutes and I'm just gonna watch. I'm pretty sure she already knows it's me, but we'll see. How was your day? Did you have a good time? I was a little worried because you were sad when I left. You had a good time though? Was it fun? What'd you have for snack? Oh. Well, you got some McDonald's fries and orange soda. 
talk let's talk about your your day at vacation bible school what kind of stuff did you guys do uh, i we colored we made this cross necklace oh mm. oh that's cute Build your house on rock on rocks instead of sand. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it. Oh, so what do you think you're gonna go back tomorrow or mm, maybe tomorrow? Okay, I'm glad. How's your how's your McDonald's fries? Uh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I am home. I started making dinner and quickly realized that I had everything to make the crab salad except the cucumber but that's okay because I had everything else I had the cilantro the onion the lemons the seasoning um, and the crab I also had that but then I quickly realized we eat our crab salad either in seafood nacho form or tostada and uh, you guys have seen I've been trying to use what I have at the house I'm trying to be very resourceful and I didn't want to just go buy the tostadas um, so I was like oh my gosh I should have just made something else for dinner right but instead of going to buy the tostadas I was like come on Jay come on Jay think about it think about it come on and I was like okay I have tortillas I have oil uh, let me make my own tostadas. So, we buy the tostadas that have the tahine on top. So, I figured, let me try and make these babies. And guess what? I made them, and they are so good. So, if you're ever in a bind, and you want to make, um, if you need tostadas, but you don't have tostadas, but you have the tortillas, then you can just fry it up. And you can just make your own. Um, I just make sure that the oil is hot. I am constantly rotating them so they don't burn. And that's it. As soon as they come out of the oil of the grease, then I sprinkle them with the chile limon, which you can sprinkle them with a little salt, a little, you know, whatever it is. Or you don't have to put anything on them either. So, and I'm sure you could do this in the air fryer or even in the oven if you had to, or if you didn't want to use all this oil. But I had leftover oil from yesterday from making um, fries. So I was like, ah, good thing we didn't toss it. <laughs> so I just pulled them out of the grease and I'm just gonna do a light coating of the chile limon, boom. And this is the one from Trader Joe's. Okay, so tostadas are all ready. I had a couple of the big ones, and then I have all the little small ones that I did. And remember, if you guys want to put tajin, go ahead. If you just want to put sea salt or no uh, seasoning at all, you don't have to. So I'm just going to start building the tostadas. Here is a crab salad that I made earlier. So I'm going to do a tostada. And then, got to give this a little mix and get some from the bottom with all the lemon and stuff. And then just start building it. Please tell me how good my homemade tostadas are. Ooh, that crunch is on point, huh? Mm -hmm. How's the flavor? On point. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Better than the store-bought ones that we get? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had to think about it? Oh. <laughs> what did you think? Oh, these are so bad. They so are, bad. huh? Yeah. Ah. 
I don't know if you guys have noticed in the past few videos that my hair has been looking like a rat's nest from the back. And I don't know what has been going on with my extensions, you guys. Like, right now, everything looks cute and everything because, like, everything's tucked in. But I feel like my extensions have been bunching up. And they look like a big old knot, like, on the sides and stuff. So, like, I really don't know what to do. I'm, like, at my wit's end because I love wearing my hair down. And I haven't been able to wear it down. And then I feel like if I'm always wearing it up, like I look like a fodonga, you know, like um, what is it called? What's the equivalent to fodonga in English? It would be like ratchet or like, you know, I don't know. Anyways, so I'm like, I don't know what the heck to do. If you have any ideas, please comment down below if you know why. If you have any idea why my extensions would be bunching up and just like and it's even in the shower, like, I try to put in conditioner, and not even the conditioner will soften them, so I don't know. I don't know. I know. It sucks because I really love the hair, but it keeps hanging up. I don't even know what to do anymore. So I think... Oh. Let me just cut them off. When Marissa gets back from Laughlin, she can help me figure this out because she gonna cut the hair. <laughs> I can't believe I'm letting you do this. Please don't ruin my natural beautiful hair. Oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So look y'all, these are all the little beads and this is all the string that he cut off. But look, I told you guys, I know there's something wrong with these extensions and I couldn't call my, my girl Marissa right now cause she's out on vacation and stuff. So I just couldn't wear these like this anymore. This is the best that I can get. Like this is the most that I untangled them. I'll brush them out like every, every hour and then they'll be tangled right back up again look at that i know that they're not supposed to be like this so i i'm just wondering maybe it's the brand that i'm buying i don't know but this is not good right look at that but luckily i do have some hair i've been wanting to rock it short anyways so look at that looks good and healthy huh Plus, I have that Shein hairpiece thing that I can put in that I've been wanting to try for a while. So maybe I can try that tomorrow for you guys and let you know how it's working out. But look, I think it's cute. I could pull it off. What do you think? 
And first shout out goes to Lauren M521. Second shout out goes to Jennifer Castillo 9711. We will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, we love you. Bye.